Hi guys, stuff and nonsense. I think we're up to lesson nine, I think. I'll double check afterwards. So I thought I'd uh, say hi, hope things are going okay today. Getting almost through another busy week. Um, still busy with your papers. Uh, they're going well and um, hope you guys are staying focused and still making time also for a bit of pleasurable play. Um, okay, so today I thought I would talk about Lewis Carroll's name, okay? So it's called a pen name, or it's also called a pseudonym, or sometimes we use the French word nom de plume. So his real name wasn't Lewis Carroll. His real name was Charles Lutwidge, which is spelled L-U-T-W-I-D-G-E. It's going to become important afterwards. Dodgson. D-O-D-G-S-O-N. Charles Lutwidge Dodgson. His father's name was Charles Dodgson, senior. And his mother's name was Francis Lutwidge. So Lutwidge was his mother's maiden name. So we have Charles Lutwidge Dodgson. So you might ask yourself, which is the object of today's little mini lesson, how did he come up with Lewis Carroll and why did he come up with Lewis Carroll? So it happened in, I have my dates here, in 1856 he wrote um, a funny sort of a story and it was going to be published and uh, in a, something called the Comic Times in England and because he was a professor at Oxford he taught math and logic, um, I guess he wanted to use a pen name so it was sort of he wanted to separate the two parts of himself theme of identity. Okay, so he, the actual name Lewis Carroll, he suggested it, but he suggested to the editor of the Comic Times four different names. Okay, so now you have to kind of concentrate a bit because this is sort of lettery, okay? A bunch of letters are involved. So he gave the editor four different possibilities. First one, Edgar Cuthwellis. If you feel like writing this down, because it's a little word game, Cuthwellis, Edgar, E-D-G-A-R, and Cuthwellis, C-U-T-H-W-E-L-L-I-S. Option number two, Edgar U period C period West Hill, W-E-S-T-H-I-L-L. -L. And then two more names, Louis Carroll, like Louis, like the French, L-O-U-I-S. And the last one, Louis Carroll. And that's the one that he did, that the, that to the editor, his name was Mr. Dares, the editor of Comic Times, he picked the last one. Okay, so here's where we get to what's kind of interesting. And if I was in the classroom with you, I'd put it on the board for you. So if you write out the whole name Charles Lutwidge Dodgson, you will find that all the letters in Charles and Lutwidge are in the first two options, Edgar Cuthwellis. So if you're just looking for a little activity now, take out, take out a piece of paper and write it down, okay? Charles Lutwidge Dodgson. And then if you write Edgar Cuthwellis, you'll see that every single letter in Edgar Cuthwellis is used in Charles Lutwidge, okay? And then, of course, you can see without too much difficulty that Edgar Cuthwellis and Edgar UC Westhill have the same letters. So this is telling us something about Lewis Carroll. Okay, I'm calling him Lewis Carroll for ease. His real name was Dodgson. He's someone who went to all the trouble to figure all that out about the letters. So he plays with letters, right? He's very interested in words. Did I tell you he had a speech impediment? I think I mentioned this to you already. And maybe in a way that speech impediment gave him an extra interest in playing with language. I think it did because he had a heightened awareness of language, which is another interesting mini lesson for us today, a life lesson that we all have like handicaps, issues, weaknesses, weaknesses and it's amazing if you can turn your weakness into a kind of a strength which is what he did think about that a little bit okay so how do you come up with Louis Carroll and Lewis Carroll well if you look at Lutwidge the origin the Latin or origin of Lutwidge is Ludovic and Louis is connected to that and Charles, the origin Charles Lethwich Dodgson of Charles is Carolus, also it's Latin. So Carol is from that. So here's my last little question, or well, a question for you. What do all four of those names have in common? Okay, so the names were Edgar UC Westhill, um, Edgar Cuthwellis, actually I got the order wrong. Edgar Cuthwellis, Edgar UC Westhill, Louis Carroll, and Lewis Carroll. They have one thing in common. 
I'll give you like a few seconds so your brains are wondering. None of them use what word, what word's missing, what name is missing? Dodgson, the father's name. So um, it's an interesting little thing to learn about him. And he, uh, on, a, on a personal level, he was quite close with his father, but the father was very stern. The father had, was a, had a religious function. He was called a rector. Um, the mother seems to have been a much sort of, uh, the, the word that's used to describe her, gentle. The same word that Lewis Carroll uses to describe Alice in the opening poem, right? Remember? In gentler tones, Secunda hopes there will be nonsense in it. Okay, uh, five minutes, 43 seconds. Hey, I'm not going to do a, a video uh, tomorrow because I think I'll keep it to four days a week. I want to try to get the correcting done that, that came in, everything that came in on Monday. I'll at least aim to have it done by, uh, by tomorrow at lunchtime. Okay, take care of yourselves. I'll see you next week.